bread, banana, good to go. One pound. I don't know if that's good value or not. I don't think it is. Quick snack. Banana baguette. <laughs> Only Tim would do something like this on a public bus. Oh, here we are, lovely Brighton Esplanade. Just walking back to the hostel, and the reason that we are in Brighton is because we're actually doing a house sit for someone. Yeah, so we've organised to sit for three nights and look after a dog, and it's, it's great. We've yeah. we met the owner before, had a look around the house, got to know the dog. Yeah, so we just signed up with Trusted House Sitters, and she just needs someone to stay for three nights, look after the house, walk the dog a couple of times, and we go to stay in Brighton for free. It's a pretty so. sweet gig. Yeah, so we're And the just dog's super chilled out as well. So chilled out, she's a lovely staffy. Uh, so that's why we've come all the way to Brighton. And actually, we have another house sit after this in central London, where I used to live. Yeah, your Clark. old hood. Yeah, so once we finish here, we'll head into central London and then we've got a house sit for two weeks there. This is our way of kind of treading water expense-wise. Yes, and we're out of the Schengen, so we're not eating into our 90 days. Yep. So I can't believe we were in Krakow, Poland this morning and now we're in Brighton. I know, England. it's just crazy. It did take a plane, two long haul trains and a metro and yes, an Uber. And like 12, <laughs> 13 hours of travelling. But now we're here and that's why we're here. It's a cute little town. Yeah, and the weather is just perfect. We've only really been at Brighton for a little while and we're really loving it. I think we're going to have a great four days here just walking along the esplanade there's loads of families out walking their dogs little huts that people have hired and they've got their fake lawn sipping their wine in the sun lots of people having barbecues on the beach even though they're not supposed to uh, just you can you know, smell the coal smell the food hear the birds it's such a good vibe out here and the weather is perfect I think they were going to have a lot of fun just walking up and down the esplanade, sitting on the pebbles. Yeah, it's a pebble beach as well, which is a little bit different to what we're used to. There's loads going on and I think we're going to have a good time here. I've always wondered if the depiction of the English seaside that you see in movies and TV shows is true. And I must say, from seeing this, it is right perfect down to a T. There's the pebble beach, there's the bitumen, People are cooking barbecues. It's just exactly like you see in movies and TV. It's a lot different to back home, but there's something very appealing about this. Good morning. I'm in desperate need of a haircut, and I found a place yesterday that does them for 11 pound, which I have never heard of. I used to live in London two, for two years, and I never ever heard of getting a haircut for 11 pound. I'm not exactly sure what to expect but we're on a budget and so I'm gonna give it a go. I figure hairdressers are hairdressers, right? So I'm just heading down now, there's no appointments. They open at nine. I'm gonna try and get in first so I don't have to wait in line. Fingers crossed there's no one else there. Today is also the Brighton Pride Parade, which is the biggest event that happens in Brighton. And we just happen to be here for this weekend. I don't know, we just keep seem to like book accommodation in places that have things on so we're going to check it out uh, the people that we're house sitting for recommended that we definitely check out the starting point looks quite festive and apparently a lot of people go and they come from all over England so we're going to go check it out so happy that we've come to Brighton it's a small little town and they've got this one strip right near our house that has almost every shop that you would need I should get off the road <laughs> every shop that you need and we had a shopping list of things we needed to buy like a diary and specific toiletries I need to get my hair cut and it just so happens everything is on the one street it's so convenient so we're gonna get everything done here so we're not running around London trying to do errands and this is the hairdresser oh there's already people there 
So this is the result of my 11 pound haircut and I'm pretty happy with it actually. It was a legit salon. They had English magazines which I haven't been able to read any magazines this whole trip so far so that was refreshing. Although they were just full of crap so I ended up not reading them anyway. The chair that I had my hair washed in even had like a little massage thing going on so I got a free massage. I think all in all for 11 pound I got my hair cut. It's pretty basic but good value probably the best value in England I don't know. let me know if you've ever seen a haircut cheaper than 11 pounds in the UK catch up on admin and trip plan so it's really important that we don't get distracted with sightseeing and this kind of stuff so luckily we're just near the start of it we've gone down had a look at the floats now we're gonna head back home and continue on with all of the boring stuff that we have to do here plus we are house sitting so we need to get back and look after little Roxy so there is a heat wave on in the UK at the moment and today is no exception it is a scorcher and the Sun is out and just walking around there are some very interesting costumes we did see one girl that had just something covering her top delicate areas and some glitter I really hope that she put a lot of sunblock on otherwise she's gonna have very interesting burn marks and I'm not sure if the Brits are used to such hot weather either no one's wearing a hat I don't see anyone drinking any water I don't know I just can't help but think of all of these things as we're wandering around it's gonna be a lot of sunburn today a lot of sunburn there is gonna be a lot of sunburn I really hope that people think about that we're at Tesco at the moment getting some groceries and it's really strange being here because I lived here for two years it was about 12 years ago it kind of feels like I'm at home but I'm not it's this really strange feeling that I've got I know I'm on holidays and everything's a pound so I'm just constantly converting it to Australian dollars but I don't know just looking at all the brands and all the food and everything it's just feels like I'm back home in this weird way Roxy, Roxy. where is she on the couch hello beautiful hello beautiful hi Hi, did you have a good walk? Did you have a good walk? Good girl. I'm gonna follow Tim in the water. Where is he? All the way over there. Since we are only a very, very short walk to the beach, we've decided this morning to come bring the dog to the beach. Tim's actually going for a swim and he's been in there for a couple of minutes. I honestly thought the water would be way too cool for him to stay in this long so I don't know if he's just trying to be tough or if it's actually nice in there. This is Roxy. Hey girl. <laughs> She's such a good dog. She's quite strong on the leave though but she knows sit which has been very helpful. Roxy sit. Good dog. Good girl. We're currently on a stretch of beach that uh uh no no no. <laughs> that doesn't allow dogs on the beach and Roxy is super jealous that Tim's gone. You'll get your turn in a minute. It was the Pride Parade yesterday and you saw just how many people were down here and I've just noticed how clean this place is. They've really tidied up after themselves. You would not even have known that there were like hundreds of thousands of people here yesterday. With this dog, sometimes you feel like you're being walked. <laughs> sometimes so I'm curious to know was the water nice or were you just trying to be brave no the water was actually a really nice temperature it wasn't cold it wasn't cold yeah you got in pretty quick 
That's really surprising. I thought the water here would be freezing. So did I. I was pleasantly surprised. And after a few meters, the pebbles turned into sand. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, okay. I thought it would just be pebbles everywhere. Isn't that a shame that the sand's under the water? Yeah. I don't know. There's something nice about the pebbles. They get really hot in the sun. It's pretty English. How cute is this backyard? It's so lovely to be back in England again. And just thinking, it's such a privilege to house sit and look after someone's dog. They really do trust you with everything that they have and with a family member. So far we're enjoying it. It's been great looking after Roxy. She's such a good little dog. And it's nice to have a home base where we can just kind of chill out and relax and just do as we want. I think it's been a really good decision to get into house sitting and to come here first to do it. I'm really looking forward to our house sit in London. I cannot wait to go back to Clapham. Well, our time at Brighton's drawing to a close. We're heading back to London tomorrow. We've had a really nice few days. The weather's been perfect and I really like this place. Yeah, it's been so nice to be back near a beach. Our hometown is right on a beach and where we're staying here in Brighton is right on the beach as well. It's kind of made me a little bit homesick. Not that I want to go home, but <laughs> it's it, nice. It's funny because we're staying in a place called Hove, which is right next to Brighton and the city that we come from, Adelaide, there is the exact same suburbs right on the beach. Yeah, right next to each other as well. Except sand beaches, no pebbles. <laughs> So house sitting has been such a good decision. We're so glad that we decided yeah, to come to England. Oh, it's been great. Yeah, free accommodation and we get to look after a dog. It's been so yeah. much fun taking her for a walk. Mm. Anyway, we're gonna head back, cook some dinner, but it's kind of hard to drag ourselves away from this <laughs> beach. So the next time that we'll vlog will probably be when we're in London because we're just gonna catch the same train back that we caught here. Mm -hmm catch up with some friends I don't know what we're gonna do when we're there Just yeah I'm pretty keen to explore the city it's been a while since I've been there there's a lot to do in London that's for sure there is <laughs> heaps to do anyway check out this beautiful view well it's been fun showing you around Brighton if you enjoy traveling with us then make sure you subscribe to our channel thanks for watching see you next time Brighton Pride. Uh, I honestly thought that the water would be way too small. Uh, <laughs>